Healthy salmon recipe. Best easy healthy. What? That looks that looks delicious. Stove top, juicy, caramel, sweet, sticky. I think I'm sold. Yep, yep, yep. I don't have this, and I don't really know what garnish is. Chopped green, uh, optionally finely chopped. Optional, finely chopped green onions. What? What's a garnish though? I'm just curious. What the fuck? The fine garnish. Decorate. Why would I put some decorative green onions? Ew. See, garnish, I would have put like garnish. Shoot, may slap some mayonnaise on that joint. Or maybe, um, I don't know. Whatever. I don't have green onions, so it doesn't matter. Okay, time to start cooking. Woo! You probably thought this was just gonna be a regular cooking show. Well, you got it all wrong. I'm not a professional, but I'm not a novice. The only reason why I think I'm good at uh, making food following recipes because I follow directions. Remember to follow directions. All right. <laughs> Salmon. What else do we need? I already forgot. Honey. Honey. Good old honey. Good old honey. Is it focusing? Good old honey. Good old honey. Oh, also, I'll make sure to put the link to this recipe in the description, just in case if it if it's fire, like you guys might like it. I usually eat salmon a certain way, so this one looks kind of good. Limon, limon. Do you wash fish? Do you wash fish? It's been a long time since I cooked fish, by the way. The answer is no. You don't need to wash fish. Salt and pepper, and just a little bit of oil. So. Salt, we do have pepper, but I think everything bagel might just be a little bit better. So I just washed my hands and I realized that this recipe is, uh, it's actually so long. A few moments later. All right, so broccoli, the same. I'm really interested in the salmon though. Mmm, hold on. Some part that I just ate, it was like a little bit glaze. It was the glaze part. The glaze was good, but I definitely overcooked it or something. I'm not gonna taste it how it probably should have been made, but it is pretty good. The glaze is only on top though, so it's like, um, it's like one of those donuts that have like the chocolate on top, like the chocolate frosting. It's kind of like that. When I was in the middle of cooking, part of me was like, is this fully cooked? So then I had to put it back in, take it back out, ended up cutting it more and more just to see if it was cooked. But then it, then it just came to mind. I don't think I would get sick if it was a little bit too undercooked because at sushi bars, they serve it more undercooked. If that's how you grammatically say that. Mmm, had another glazed caramel. Damn! Those little glazed caramels, they're good. And I see the art to it, you know, it's like all this protein from the fish, little bit of drizzle of something like real tasty. Mmm, posture. Y'all ever imagine that like who actually eats? This is so difficult. My posture sucks. But it will get better. 
I don't know. I will work on it though. After this bite. So I messed up. I really did think that the fish wasn't that all, like, you know, all anything, really. So I came back to the kitchen, cooked the rest of the two um, fish that I said I was gonna eat. I cooked those perfectly, the way that they're supposed to be, okay? And while I was cooking it, I was just cleaning up a little bit and was eating the, the it was, and was eating another piece. That piece, I could literally taste the honey. I could taste the honey, honey, something like a little crunchy honey thing. It was, it was really good. And I didn't even feel it like as a glaze. I felt it like I tasted it more. I, I kept saying feel. I tasted it more in the actual like fish itself, not just on the skin, like a glaze. Really good. And I made sure that these next ones, I want you, I want you guys to, uh, I want you guys to tell me. I want you guys to tell me. What the fuck? Which one did I cook first? What the fuck? 